Oh my God, oh my God, I am so excited. In this video, I'm going to be collaborating with ACDC. It's not, not ACDC, it's uh, ADC. Really? I, I thought I was doing a collab with ACDC. ADC? Yeah. Did they drop the, the first C? ADC. Wait, you're telling me that instead of collaborating with ACDC, the epic and classic Australian rock band, this is a collaboration with YouTube artist ADC Art Attack? With the YouTube channel. ADC. That's way better! Guys, I am collaborating with ADC Art Attack. I am so sorry, Anthony. I have so often kept just reading your channel name as ACDC Art Attack. Maybe it's the old fashioned Australian in me. For those of you watching this who don't know ADC Art Attack, you're missing out. And he makes really cool videos on drawing and markers and challenges. If you love my content, he's right up your alley. Really, really friendly and entertaining guy. So go check him out. And the idea we settled on for our collaboration is that we send each other a box of 100 things to make art with. Oh my God. It Oh, 100 things. Whoa, what is this? <gasps> Toothbrush. I have a feeling this will be more useful and practical than you might think. <gasps> I've got a letter. We'll save that to last. So these are the, these are 10 pens. Stay below, oh, they're like ballpoint marker pens. I need something to draw on. Did you send me something to draw on, Anthony? I feel, that's pretty good. Faber-Castell metallics, cool. Oh, that's there. That's really good. Look how quick that goes down. 50 felt tip pen. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna have to stop here for a sec. What you're getting from me is not disappointment. It's guilt. I am feeling very guilty about what I sent Anthony. Let's just say he sent me a lot of art supplies that seem well thought out and very useful. Let's say I didn't. <laughs> Oh my God, it's a flashback. And today I'm filling a box for Anthony with 100 things. Some AirPods, get a Galaxy Tab, uh, Nintendo Switch, GoPro. Isn't this meant to be art related? Hmm? Isn't it meant to be art related? That's not, uh, that's not art related. All right, so, sorry, that's silly prize. me. That's prizes. All right, sorry, Anthony, <clears throat> my mistake. All right, uh, what do we got? Okay, uh, pencil, that's just as good. Some poo color paint, a glue stick, some tape, click, some white out, click. I'm gonna have no art supplies after this. Ultra black paper. Oh, 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 here's some blocks of wood. Wait, gonna fit a hundred things and we're up to eight. You are never gonna fit a hundred things in that box. I can fit a hundred small things. Do we count these as individual things? Nope. Why not? It's cheating. Fine. Gloves could be useful. They don't have to be part of the artwork, but that's technically two things. I've got some doubles in here. If I put this in, that's one item. But if I do this, up to 25. <laughs> I'm a f***ing genius. Here's a charcoal eraser and some charcoal pencils. You're not having my white oil paint, but you can have my white sh paint. I'll give you one of these funny bendy brushes. I never use those. Just like an air compressor hose. Can you just blow in that? You can. One of my favorite materials, this. Luro. I'm up to 39. 100 is a lot of things. This is 80 things. I could give them a selection. 60. Beautiful. Have some silver and gold, my friend. Six bottles of glitter. Oh. Oh. I just grabbed random shit off my art shelves. Then when I got to 90, I ran out of the randomest stuff. So I started thinking outside the box or the art supplies. Velcro, two kinds of the catchy bit and the sticky bit. One, two, three, four. I don't know if we'll use this in the artwork. I'm sure I'll appreciate it. Scissors, so you can cut stuff up. And last but not least, yesterday's coffee. That brings it to 100. If I got this box, I'd be pretty pissed off. So I guess that summarizes how we've both approached this collab. He's done it in a collaborative spirit. And I've been a dick. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anthony. These are amazing. Look at this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but a, a lot of it. What is this? There's multiples. What are these? Is this makeup? This is, I think it's makeup. I know it's Rembrandt. Soft pastels, no, he's, he's far too kind to send me something as impractical as makeup. He's actually sent me art supplies. Oh no, what have I done? If I got this box, I'd be pretty pissed off. Well, I am genuinely interested to see 
what Anthony makes. In the meantime, let's see what he wrote before he knew he hated me. <clears throat> this is my art prompt. This is, this is what I'm gonna create. The air was still, the water calm. Our hero sits in the middle of the lake, thinking, waiting, knowing. The warmth of the sun became cold. The day became night. Could this be the end? Quack. His time had come. That's a cool prompt. I am going to hybridize Anthony's wonderful prompt and glorious art supplies with an artwork that comes from the heart and says, I am so sorry, just so sorry for what I've done to you. And let's see if I can earn his forgiveness through creativity. Now that's the real art challenge. <laughs> so first things first, with all these weird and random art supplies, I better get swatching. Now obviously there are a lot of different things here and they, they all feel so incredibly different to use. Starting off with the oil sticks, which I guess are like an alternative or complementary material to oil paint. Some of those glow pens, and then these random colored Chinese looking stick things. And I had no idea what these were. It seems that a color was missing and I tried to see if they drew or if with water added, they were some sort of watercolor, but I had no idea. It was a mystery. And with a bit of research later, we discovered that they're actually Chinese ink sticks. But to use them, you actually need a, an ink stick grinding base, which I wasn't sent. However, they are really an intriguing medium and I am definitely using these and mucking around with them in a future video. So aside from sending me great art supplies for this video, Anthony set me up with a few for future videos. Thanks, Anthony. <laughs> But continuing with the swatching, I played around with the watercolors, a lot of really glowy, cool colors there. Some of the pastels, which drew down quite nicely and also blended together really well. The blow pens, which I've used before. I made a whole video on blow pens and using them reminded me how much I hate using them because I got lightheaded instantly and they take a lot of pressure to get the blow pen working. But they do create a really cool effect and I will definitely use these, of course. Otherwise, we've got some water-based markers. We've got some charcoal. We've got a big paint pen of black which is really cool because I can fill large areas with this black paint really well and then use the things like the pastels or the oil sticks on top of it for a really cool and contrasting effect. And of course we have some of the random things. Lots of bits and pieces that I'm surely find ways to use throughout the rest of the piece. But it's time to decide what I'm going to create. <laughs> The air was still, the water calm. Our hero sits in the middle of the lake, thinking, waiting, knowing. The warmth of the sun became cold, the day became night. Could this be the end? Quack. His time had come. Really sets a tone here. And so what I did is use the biro that he included in the box to sketch out a bit of an image of what I thought it could be. And I thought it could be Anthony, our hero, sitting on an island in the middle of a lake, preparing himself for the storm to come. And I thought the storm to come could be all the random crap I threw at him. I think it works well too, because it says the air was still the water calm. And apparently the eye of the storm is the most uh, uh, still part of the storm, right? So I thought it'd be really cool that the storm has descended on him and the moment prior to greatest turbulence, the air goes still and the water calm. And I am leaping out and throwing all this random crap at him. The main thing I was doing with this sketch was, as you can see, using some of the mediums in different combinations and assigning them to sort of areas of the illustration that I thought they could work really well in. Figuring out how I could use combinations of the big black paint marker, the pastels and the oil sticks for the sky the watercolor for the water, which I mean, made a lot of sense to me, <laughs> where I could use the blow pens for some effects, so on and so forth. <laughs> All right, I think I have a plan. Let's be honest, Anthony couldn't have made this more easy and enjoyable for me. And now I have motivation to make something meaningful to uh, create a redemption arc for myself. <laughs> so in our piece here, of course, Anthony has his duck companion as he goes to fight off the creative storm of madness. Let's get started. Now, one thing Anthony did not include in the box was paper. And I could have done the whole really sticking to the challenge thing and only used the box or anything in the box. But honestly, I, did, I wanted to do Anthony proud and make as cool an artwork as I could with all the 
cool stuff, he said. So I used a piece of paper, sue me. Starting off with the watercolors, I wanted to make sure I used this big brush. So I thought one of the cool ways I could do that was by sort of crumbling apart, breaking down the uh, the watercolor block into a tray of water. I used the toothbrush to sort of wear down the watercolor and get it pigmented in the water and then the giant brush to get a really nice big reflective line of water for the lake and blend it with a mix of purple and blue. Then I filled what would be the sky all the way down to the horizon with my black paint marker and left it all to dry. When it was all fully dry, I came back and started to layer in some effects, starting off with the sky and the eye of the storm. I always find shading clouds a little bit tricky, like I, I, they're basically three dimensional objects, so they need to be shaded in the direction of light, but because they're transparent, the light comes from behind them because the sun is behind the clouds. This is a little confusing. So I did try and use some reference images and I feel like in the end, I, I uh, produce something that feels pretty cool. I think some of the shading might have been reverse. I don't quite know, but in the end with a mix of blending and some intense sort of sunbeams coming out of the clouds, I think it really did get the effect I was after, which I was really happy about. Using the oil stick to create the mountains and then the reflection of the mountains in the water. And then I tinted a lot of the surface of the water red to show the calm, still water reflecting the intense red clouds of the sky. And that's actually my foundation done. I used a lot of mediums in just the base there, but to draw on that was gonna be quite hard. Obviously the oil sticks and the watercolors and the pastels are gonna smear very easily. So what I decided to do was in moving on to some of my more solid mediums, like the water-based markers and blow pens and stuff like that, that I would draw it on a separate piece of paper and cut it out and place the items and the characters throughout the actual piece on top. But you'll both create a really clean distinction between the two areas and hopefully a really cool sort of three dimensional effect. So I drew a powerful wizard jazzer, which I thought it would be coolest if it's me versus him in our little challenge here that I look as silly but menacing as possible because obviously I'm, I'm the douchebag here. And Anthony, our hero, is gonna be standing in the middle of the lake on an island with his little duck friend, which obviously fills in that quack part of the prompt. Do the island on a separate piece of paper and use the blow pen after I'd cut it out and done the outline to fill in a really cool gradient with a mix of yellows, blues and greens, which I think worked really nicely. Creates a really cool texture actually. And then last but not least, I drew and colored in, outlined, and then eventually cut out all of the art supplies that the evil wizard Jazza was throwing aggressively at Anthony. Now I say art supplies loosely. Obviously there's a bit of an ode to the random chaos in there too. The coffee cup, the scissors, the toilet roll, the googly eyes, all that weird good stuff. And then the slightly tedious part, but the most important part, cutting it all out with a razor so I can place it on my final artwork. Well, here we are. Here we are. You sent me a wide variety of wonderful art supplies. And I sent you a box of trash. Yeah. <laughs> we had the complete opposite sort of mindset. See, I think yeah. you packed yourself in a box and I packed myself in a box. Yes, that is the perfect way of putting it. Yeah. Well, Pure chaos. Shall we start off with my reveal? Do you mind if I share it with you? Yes. This is my depiction of our collaboration. It's uh... Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's, that's you being attacked on all fronts by with trash and filth and chaos. God. Your poem referred to the hero and it talked about the calm. I thought you were in the eye of the storm and then it ended with quack. 
So it was only fitting that you have your duck companion. Dude, that is my is apology ins- accepted? That is amazing. Yes, of course it is. Yes. That is insane. <laughs> it's mainly amazing because you actually sent me really cool stuff. Like <laughs> I used the black paint for the backdrop of the sky. I got chalk pastels up in there. The oil sticks, they were really cool. I've never used those before. They were the mountains and a little bit in the sky. I think you had some inks as well, right? I well, think there yes. was inks. But no, because oh. they, they were ink sticks and it turns out that you need a Chinese ink stick tray to like rub them until oh, they really? make ink. Yeah. So you've actually given me a future video because I'm going to I'm gonna get the tray and make the ink because that's like a great video. Thank you. So this is my apology. I'm, I'm, uh, I hope that apology it accepted. Wow. <sighs> My Man. heart, my heart is at ease. So this is in two parts. I can't just show you it immediately because one okay. of the pieces is movable. So I gotta All be right. cautious here. I'll show it up on camera first. So like, what? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> We've got a sculpture. <laughs> How did you do that? Where Everything. is the chaos? Everything. <laughs> Whoa. This is a little dedication to you. I, I mean, I couldn't find a way to put you in there. So I figured I would build it for you. You do miniatures. So I figured let's do a miniature <laughs> kind of build. And yeah. this would sort of do it. You just blew my expectations out of the water. I feel, I felt so bad. But you know what? The plan was always to push you to your limit to create oh, something truly profound, which you did. So you oh. passed the test, congratulations. Guys, go check out Anthony's video. You will not believe that he did it. He did it. He, t- he turned my box of please don't hate me for sending you this into something <laughs> truly astounding. It's incredible. The result is incredible. I can't imagine what watching it being made would be like. So go check out Anthony's channel, ADC Art Attack, and subscribe because he's a friggin' legend of art and creativity. The man is a rock star. Thank you so much for joining me here today. This was so cool, Anthony. Thank you so much, man. It was amazing. This was awesome. <laughs> this was a once in a lifetime experience. I absolutely loved it. This is once? What? Oh, once in a once. lifetime? You wanna do it again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this was so much fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. Go subscribe, like, thank you. And until next time, I'll see you later.